Interesting. Now the biggest problem here is that your answers were not specific. This is what I was talking about before. Your answers might have been quite vague. Um, what do we got here? Well, you have to think about in particular, uh, and I haven't written this on here, but think about what they can get from you already without the Opal card, okay? Without the Opal card existing, I think the Department of Transport knows which stations are busy and which stations are not. Does that make sense? In fact, I think more or less any random bystander knows which stations are busy and which ones are not. So if you said here, okay, predict information that may result from the process of data mining this new database in part A, and you said they'll be able to identify peak times and um, the right kinds of, you know, the most busy stations and people can open up shops, people know all of that already. It has nothing to do with Opal, okay? What are things that we don't know now, which we do know once you've got Opal? Um, this is the main one, okay? Consumer travel patterns, right? Because they're attached to a card, it's not like, uh, you know, once I buy a ticket at one station and then I buy a ticket at another one, they're two completely different things. The Department of Transport doesn't know that it was the same person who bought both tickets, right? Or three tickets, or four or five. But now, every time I swipe on, they know, oh, it's the same number, it's the same one. They go to this station and that station, and then, you know, five times a day they're going, right? So that's why I say it's attached to a specific identity rather than as part of aggregated data, X, okay? Um, it's not just one big heap of data which is like, who knows who it is, right? Um, it's actually attached to specific people, okay? So it's a little bit like the difference between when Google, when you go and do a Google search, right? Versus when you do a Google search, when you're signed in. If you're signed in, they know who you are. So they can gather information about you and what you search for rather than just information about random searches, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah, okay. Um, again, this thing here, the relationship between the station of origin and the number of trips. <laughs> it's okay, I wouldn't be able to type it this much, um, this quickly either. Um, because, again, if you didn't have Opal, there'd be a, you'd know how many trips, but you don't know who's who, right? And you don't know, for instance, that one person is just going round and round the train network. Like, why would you do that? Well, I don't know, but with Opal, you can find out that. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, this one, again, it has to do with being connected to an identity, right? So how would the Department of Transport know how many people are on their trains, right? Well, without Opal, they can make a good guess because they've got the number of tickets, but you're going to do multiple tickets per person, right? So you've got to sort of scale that number of trips down to, okay, how many actual people have I got, right? So when you've got Opal, that's one person, so you're not going to get double ups and redundancy. Okay, does that make sense? You see how this is more specific? So I think you can read the rest and you're going to get this document after later. But um, that's, that's the key. Right? You've got to think about what uh, information they wouldn't have without this specific um, scenario, specific technology.